Yeah. Right, right. Now I, I can ask you this. Back then, did y'all y'all recorded uh, those tracks all in the same studio together, or was it? Because you know, like now, people kind of email and send it around. What what was that experience like? Um, time to build. Actually, no. Uh, we we actually all, with the exception of me and Rule. I think me and Rule might have been in the same studio the same day and laid our verses, or he was there shortly after. Um. But when I came back to the lab, X and Jay-Z already laid their verse. So we weren't together then. When we did Usual Suspects from our second album, Vendetta, we were all in the same studio. So it was us, it was the locks, it was Rule, you know, Murder, um, Gaddafi, Tragedy, uh, was there, um, I, I want to say Cormega was there, uh, Flush was there. So that one was more the experience of having everybody in the same lab and just the, the vibe of all the different camps, but all of us, you know, being in the same space. And it was cool. You know, you just had to be on your A game because, you know, you was in Company of Wolf. So you just had to, you know, you had to be on your A game with your bars. And that was good, I think, for all of us. You understand? Um, so that time we was all together. And then um, when we did nothing move but the money, I know me and X was in the lab together. Um, I think, yeah, and I think Rob actually came to the session later on, but me and X had already been in the lab. And when we did Shit Still Real, we were together and we recorded that actually out in Canada. Okay, wow, man, them some elite MCs. What you, you said, tragedy, shout out to tragedy, Cormega, the locks. Wow, that's yeah. amazing, man. That's like, a, like an all star cast in itself, man. Um, yeah. so I wanted to ask, oh, go ahead. Nah, I was gonna say it was heavy, it was heavy, you feel me? The major, man. So, yeah. but like I say again, these are your peers, these are people that you are around. So, what, what would your top five look like? You know what I'm saying? Being somebody that actually got to work with a lot of the people that people would put in their top five or their top 10 or their top 20, top 15. Oh man, that's a, a tough question because it's a lot of, I'm I like, I'm inspired by a lot of people. So, you know, the, uh, but if I had to just think of five that probably would always come to mind, um, Koji Rap definitely be, would be one. Ice Cube would be another, definitely. Um, Rakim, definitely. Uh, uh, and I'll say uh, Kane, Big Daddy Kane, definitely. Um, Hove, uh, Rule X. Uh, you know, not just saying that because they they all home team, but you know, you gotta call it like you said. You know, and they there too. Not as true, I would say he, he's he's on that list of all time people. It's a lot of people. I know that's over five. You know, Slick Rick and LL. I can't forget them neither. So I couldn't probably just do five, but you know, you could choose from those people. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. It's hard to just pick five. Like I say, just just even within the people that you worked yeah. with and freestyle with and recorded with, it'd be tough to pick five. Out yeah, of that, I don't know? think nobody ever satisfied with the five they pick. You know, I think after that, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's the right word. I forgot about such and such. Yeah, so, but out of the, those is a few of the people that, you know, I probably wouldn't be here if they didn't do what they did. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, let me see. Now, I wanted to ask you, uh, what are you working on these days? Are you retired? Are you still writing? Are you still recording? Are you trying to, you know, uh, start a label and put other artists out? Are you transitioning? You know, a lot of the rappers going to the movies, going to the mm -hmm. documentaries, writing a book, you know, clothing, mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, I got a, a couple of things going on. So I started my own label endeavor about a year ago. And that's uh, Queens made bosses Q and B, and 
and we did a joint venture with Symphonic. Shout out to Symphonic's distribution. So I'm actually putting all the loose ends on finishing up a project now. Um, whether it's going to be my last project, I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel, you know, but uh, I'm very, very excited about, you know, being able to get it out to the world soon. So um, working with DJ Toomp and Mr. Lee and Rhythm D and uh, a couple of the collaborations, I could say, uh, working with Scarface and and working with uh, Rowdy Rich and uh, Flush. And those are just a few of the people, you know, but um, it's a mean album. And uh, I'm just really excited. Like, I'm antsy to get it out there for people in the world. So, you know, that's probably what the most current thing is. And, you know, shooting the videos that have to be shot for it and all of that, you know, so. We're diving into all of that full stream now. Um, aside from that, I own a small business now for about 13 years. I own like a locksmith and a security installation company in New York City. And that takes a lot of my time up when I'm not dealing with music. And um, my intent is probably to take, you know, do a little more acting you know, just to add a couple of things to my repertoire. And uh, yeah, I'm just having fun. I'm excited and I'm just looking forward to every step of the year that I'm in and where it's all going. So I, I can't wait. It's a lot. Oh yeah, man, that's definitely a lot, man. And you done accomplished so much. I mean, if yeah. the average person could do one of the things that you did, you know what I'm saying? Just like that freestyle or a couple of those sessions or your album or the people you worked with, you know, people dream and hope and spend their whole life wishing that they could do those things. And you still at it, you still going, like you say, you, you, you're talking about Rhythm D, you're talking about Scarface, you're talking about, you know what I'm yeah. saying, some of the people that steal the greats, you know what I'm saying? Battle so Cat, I, I, I got to shout, yeah. shout out to DJ oh, yeah, Battle, Battle Cat. Cat. You yeah. got to shout Battle Cat out too. Mm -hmm. like, I got a lot of surprise, more mm -hmm. I want to talk about. I can't let all the secrets out the bag, but it's a mean joint. But I mean, yeah, I'm grateful, bro, and I'm appreciative, and I'm humble beyond measure to, to be able to to say I, I'm working with the people that I'm working with, and and to to be on my sixth album, and to be able to be in a position to do the things that that you know I'm getting to do. There's no there's no word to express the gratitude I have for that and the appreciation I have to be in that position. So I'm just trying to make the most of it. You feel me? 